As the vast majority of business meetings, work functions, and socializing has moved to an online world in what seems to be almost overnight, we have new situations upon us. Zoom etiquette. Online human behavior with the potential to improve or to destroy what your peers, your co-workers, and your extended family think of you. Let us examine example A. We'll call Betty here, naked and unafraid. Here, we observe Betty likely to have rolled out of bed in the same sweater she wore yesterday and the day before that, etc, etc. Betty does not have a lot to offer to the meeting and neither would you if you had this amount of morning breath. Be that as it may, we appreciate her candor, her ability to show her face in full nudity. Betty does need to understand that her co-workers need her feedback more than her yawns. Moving on to example B. Up close and personal. Also with a fair amount of courageous candor, Dawn here believes that if she moves her screen closer to her face, she will be able to hear the Zoom meeting better. While Dawn's methods may have a positive effect for her hearing, Dawn's peers have no choice but to examine her pores, her lashes, and the inner workings of her nostrils. To avoid this, Dawn simply needs to move the camera a bit more comfortably, three to six hundred feet away, and turn her volume up. On the opposite side of this, we have what we like to call the mysterious introvert. It's understood that not all of us enjoy our co-workers seeing into our private lives, but no one detests it more than the mysterious introvert. Here, we observe this introvert has taken extreme measures to leak out as little information as possible of where he lives. Is the introvert in his bathroom? Is he in his closet? How long has it been since the introvert has been exposed to the sun? What the mysterious introvert does not know is that his strange setting actually keeps the other Zoom members guessing instead of paying attention to what's going on online. Finally, someone who is likely to drown out the mysterious introvert is none other than Muted Molly. Our last example, Muted Molly, has more audio distractions than a small amusement park and yet finds no purpose in the practice of muting her mic. Here we observe Molly shushing her dog, and to the back you see that her other child has escaped out of her house. Though thoroughly entertaining, everyone in the meeting missed every action item listed. Just mute your mic, Molly. It's one small click to success. And there you have it, Zoom etiquette. A new day and age calls for humans to act like intelligent creatures. And we here at CAFE believe you're on the intelligent side. If you have a Zoom etiquette character you'd like to see, leave us a comment in the box. Until next time, stay safe, use your Germex, 